Hi, I am Zishan Ahmed. Welcome to my YouTube channel Medical Court. Today we will discuss the differences between diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. First, what is diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is a group of disease caused by insulin deficiency. Now, what is insulin? So, simply insulin is a hormone produced by the beta cell of the pancreas. The main function of insulin is the regulation of the blood sugar level in blood. If the insulin level down, the sugar level becomes high in blood and vice versa. Now let's talk about type of diabetes mellitus. So there are two main types of diabetes mellitus. First is diabetes mellitus 1 in which the beta cell of the pancreas stop production of insulin hormones due to the destruction of the beta cell which may be of genetic reasons or some other reasons. Secondly, diabetes mellitus 2. In this type of diabetes insulin is produced by the beta cell but doesn't work because of the insulin receptor binding or insulin signaling problem. Now how you will define diabetes insipidus? So diabetes insipidus is that disorder which is caused by the antidiuretic hormone or simply ADH or and arginine vasopressin hormone or simply AVP hormone deficiency. Now what is ADH or AVP hormone and what are the main role of these hormones? Well, at hormones which produced by the hypothalamus of the brain and store in pituitary gland. The role of the ADH or AVP hormone is the regulation of the water level in body. The targeted system of the ADH or AVP hormone is urinary system. If the ADH or AVP hormones level down, it will lead to more urination and body may go to dehydration state. Now let's come to the types of the diabetes insipidus. First it is a cranial diabetes insipidus. It is primarily caused by the decreased production or the release of the ADH or AVP hormones from the hypothalamus or pituitary gland. The second type is the nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. In this type the kidney response to ADH or AVP becomes decreased. Now let's talk about some typical symptoms of the diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. First symptom is the polydipsia which is also called extreme thirst which is both common in diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. Second septum is polyuria which means too much urination which is also common in both diabetes. Third blood sugar level the blood sugar increase in diabetes mellitus but on other hand in diabetes insipidus it become down. Fourth septum is the sugar in urine which is present in diabetes mellitus but not in diabetes insipidus. Last but not the least is the weight loss. If we, if we look in diabetes mellitus patient and diabetes insipidus in both conditions patient lost weight. Now if we came across patient like these then how we can treat them. So the treatment of the diabetes mellitus patient include change lifestyle, metformin drug can uh, recommend it and insulin shorts can also advised. Now turn to treatment of diabetes and separatist patient. To these patient it should be recommended drug like desmopressin if the patient have type 1 diabetes and separatis. and if he she have type 2 diabetes and separatis, 
the drug like thiazide diuretics in aspirin advised. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning for more informative videos.